One more park. Which? What number of national park is this? For us? Yeah. That's our third. And our, uh, not counting the Lake Mead recreation area. <laughs> this one's not too busy, is it? No. It's nice. What do you like about this one? Would you come back here? Yeah, quiet. Not too many people here. You can see a, over there how the canyon has been cut out. What's Aaron doing? He's running. We better run to, to uh, get on our horses, right? I guess. Rolling. Okay. So who's this? Tough gal. Tough girl. Or tough gal. And, but the girl who owns them calls her Pocahontas. And there's a, there's a cat, a kitten up there called Fred. And then he calls Fred. Cat's sleeping. What? Well, there are lots of cats sleeping in there. In the door inside. Oh, step on it. Right here. Asleep, right? Mm -hmm. Who is scratching? Sharpening claws. This is the roof of Rimrock Ranch. shade over there. There's a cat in the shade. Twin of what? Tough gal. Twin of tough gal. Tough girl. They're nursing these animals. Mom has a flea collar. <laughs> this is Wednesday. This is still Capitol Reef. We have left the motel. We're in yet another canyon. This one Grand Wash. Last night we saw a wonderful ranger slideshow by a ranger who took all the pictures of the backcountry Capitol Reef. This trail is going to the narrow. What kind of force of water? would cut through like this. This trail is going to the narrow. What kind of force of water would cut through like this? Gouge that out around this corner. Rocks and children. Where are you going, Daniel? Trying to get up here. <laughs> Look at that. A hollowed out cavity with one little piece left. It's 
right. Just right for you. Mm-hmm. Big cliff. Everywhere you have the feeling that catastrophe is just the next little slip away. Crunch. This is definitely an active area. That was my child. Here are the narrows. One false move, and down it'll come. This is not a good place for a nervous person. That's quite a cutout. <laughs> Are they really under all that? What? Run for your lives. Well, the river obviously hits that with some force and digs it out. But at other levels, it didn't hit right around here with such force because it's not as st sharply dug out. So what does that mean? And you can see how this has been just curved around back to where we came from. Do you hear the jet? It's non-stop jets around here. Right around there. And channeled right around here. What do little boys do when they see rocks? They throw them. These are the first two people we've seen on this trail. Nice and cool in there. <laughs> Look what you're under. Wow! Clap, Aaron. Clap, Aaron. Echoes. Where is it coming from?
I hear two airplanes at once. Are they? They're deer, deer prints, which can only have been made the last time it was a rainstorm, which was more than a month ago, the 1st of July, and this is August. No, it could have, they could have been made since then, couldn't they? No, it has to get wet up here, and this is an island. This is above the, the, um, the wash. We'd only get this when, there was, when it rained, because this, this is a dry place. It's like cement. And now, what can you say about Curtis Sandstone? It's soft. Look what happened. What? Look what happened? Look what happened to if I do this. See, I have an ordinary rock. Yeah. There it, it goes. And the water does that all the time. This was really a Curtis Sandstone rock that I was pounding. It just broke up. So now I'll use a non Curtis Sandstone rack. Here it is. Now look what look what happened. The rock doesn't break. Amazing. And I use it now. What's that, Aaron? Fossil. Fossil Maybe of what? Looks like Snake. Where? Yeah. That's a fossil? Well, I don't know. It's a, oh. Fossil of snake. No, I think it's just color. You think it's just a mineral came through? Yeah. But it came through in such a, a sort of a... Snake. I mean, snakes probably have minerals in them. So they would leach out like that. I don't know. I want to see if there's any snake right here. No, don't do that. That's not going to get to do that. Really. It's something somebody else might like to see. Everybody know. This is Thursday. This is Arches National Park. We've gotten up early today to come and see this. This lovely arch. Yesterday after hiking at Capitol Reef, we drove straight here. Hit a very incredible landscape just east of Capitol Reef. Lots of these sand mounds. It's incredible sand mounds. Very, very dry looking. Had lunch at Hanksville and got on the interstate. Drove from on 24 to the interstate straight to Moab and we're staying, staying in a trailer tonight. Last night and tonight. Maybe tomorrow night. We need your help. Don't erode the sand hill. It's the longest natural stone span in the world landscape arch. Right there. Landscape arch. They're on the trail.
This is looking east. Probably into Colorado. This is a very old tree here, I think. Old water. A very old person here, too. Another very old tree right here. Whoa. So, uh, how long will this one be up? Long before it collapses. <clears throat> wow, we're going on double OR. Hey, I know you. Hi. Hi. I got some people coming up here. <clears throat> and that's the view. juniper tree we think growing out of a rock and dropping its berries on the ground I wish I had my sketch pad uh oh who's in charge of the sketch pads we don't we haven't been carrying them on the hikes that's a new <laughs> come on no. you're doing great you're doing just great you need a movie camera for this oh yeah that would be all right I ain't gonna help you. How am I gonna help you? Just do it gently. Sit down and, or something, you know, easy. See? Okay, okay. There, this is wall arch, wall arch. This looks newer than landscape arch. Not very big. How many feet across, Richard, do you think? 75. Okay, 70, really that much? Ready? You look at me. I think it's 75 feet across? I think it's 75 feet across. But you don't get as far back. The other one was how much? 291? 300, 291. Yeah. No, that's different. I'm tired from the horses. What day horse? Day before yesterday. What horses? Our horseback ride. What's the name of your horse? You never found out. I never found out. Or my horse just did what he wanted to do. And why did you take the video camera on the horseback ride? You're joking. But was it nice to look at? Where I was? Yeah. We were well, there too, right? It made a great picture, actually. A great um, still from the rider's point of view of the back of the head of the horse. He was just walking with his, his nose in the uh, rump of the uh, horse in front. It was kind of nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you think it was going to be? No. <laughs> what made you go? You. <laughs> you did. Well, I like that a lot myself. It's very high up, though. I thought it, it was a pretty short horse. I was surprised yeah. at how high, how high up I was. Yeah. Let's take another look at this arch. Mm -hmm. Where do those children go, for heaven's sake? Oh, I see somebody. They say they're not having a good time. <laughs> they say they're not having a good time. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Oh. How about Daniel? Where is he? Hi. I can't see him. He's behind the tree. Come out, Daniel, so I can put you on the camera. You having a good time? Yeah. Me too. Now, if all those mesas had water, they might look like this. The LaSalle Mountains. This is in the LaSalle Mountains, southeast of Moab. Only 10 miles. Yeah. Look at that gorge. He's still putting his shoes on, huh? Aspens, I think.
here we are in the uh, Monte LaSalle Mountains of uh, eastern Utah. There's a cloud. See, cloud. Cloud. Car. Mom, way down the road. Brother. There is brother. <laughs> There's wet brother. How did you get wet? Earthquake! Sprinkler! Aaron earthquake! Just, Aaron just ran in the sprinklers at Pack Rim Ranch. At earthquake, please. Okay, that's enough earthquake, please. <laughs> and you ran in the sprinklers too at Pack Rim Ranch, right? Yep. And I'm dry and you're wet. And now it's time to shut the camera off. Bye. This is the mighty Colorado River. We got a little little rain, a few drops came down from those clouds on us. That's fresh water. Too thick to drink, too thin to plow. Famous quote about the Colorado River. What's that? It's too much for me. What's too much? This heat. Oh, that. Nice bugs. Yeah, there are a lot of bugs here, I just noticed. I've seen bugs. There are some bugs right there. And it is blue too bugs. hot. This is, uh, what is it today? Friday. We're back in Arches. Last night we had salad bar in our trailer. In our beautiful trailer. In our beautiful trailer. And uh, let's see, what else happened? I forgot. We, we played Predator. Some, we played Predator. And then in the morning we had breakfast. Like our trailer? Can you tell? Can you tell the camera about our trailer? I'm going to look around while you talk, so we'll do double duty here. Um. Well. Uh. Is it big? No. Not big? Not big. Well, I don't know. I don't know what do you mean by big? Big for a hotel room or big for a? Big for house. a hotel room. <laughs> it's big for a hotel room. There's an arch. Where's an arch? I'm looking at the arch. It's on the horizon. Skyline arch? I'm getting into the haze. Oops, sorry. Don't throw rocks around here, please. They're shooting a movie here. They are shooting a movie here. What's the name? Phyllis and Louise. Gina Davis, your relative. Came from Hingham, Mass. This is the window section of arches. How hot is it? It's getting there. And that's the Parade of the Elephants, but I don't remember it being so obscure looking. Guess that looks like an elephant, doesn't it? Yeah, kind of. 
Maybe it is the shadow. Could be the shadow. A lot of arches in there. Caves coming in. Going. Just arches everywhere here. Flare there. Here I am. Window section. Close to me now. Mm-hmm. We're up in the arch. And you can see the shadow quite clearly. And this person taking a picture of it. Art shot. This is an art shot. And those are climbing kid shots. There's a climbing kid. Here's one. Not too high now. Aaron, which has a very big crack in it. It's a window. Well, the window has a crack in it too. I give this arch about another half hour before it collapses. What's that question, Aaron? What's the difference between a window and an arch? Anybody know the answer? That's the difference between a window and an arch. A window doesn't come all the way down to the ground. Everybody's everybody's rock climbing. Not you. There's no place for my foot to mix in. Don't get too close to the edge, Henry. What edge? Don't stand on gravel. Oh, wait. Stop yelling at me. Come down from there right now, Henry. Come down. We're going. No dessert for you. Okay, first I'm doing mom. Mom's going down. Daniel's helping her. Canyons to the right. Mom, go. Our window. 
goes everywhere. You're going the wrong way. We're in the window of the second arch here. night. Hey, my friend. I made it up the top here. That's the big news. <laughs> don't run, Aaron. Not when I first get here, don't. Uh, see all those tourists out there? I bet two of them speak English. <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe. Not that many. Two maybe. What's become of our national parks? They're international parks. Yay! Hooray! Hands across the water. Yeah, they can bring their Deutsche Marks here and we'll take them. Enjoying yourself, Daniel? Yeah. What do you like? Climbing Going up there. there. You like rock climbing? Yep. You guys really do like rock climbing, don't you? I can tell. Yeah. There are lots of rocks to climb on here. Well, the arch we went up is over there. Behind the, the what? The arch we just went up is over there, behind the big mound. Gee, there are just endless vistas here. What are vistas? This is a vista here. Things to see. Probably shouldn't do this with such a long focal length. I'll back it off. There. This is in Canyonlands National Park. Hold on to your hats. Got a little thunderstorm coming up here. The thing sticking up? Yeah. Back up that way. Yeah. The Green River is behind us. Yeah. Green River is over there. Let's point to it over there. Yeah. No, that's in the conference. This 
yesterday and we have this rainstorm coming look at the water coming out of that cloud grand viewpoint I would say that it lives up to its name. Canyonlands National Park, Utah. Maybe we should drive around the circle twice so I can get it on tape, because I can't see anything, so I don't know what's out there. I guess I could shoot out the window, huh? If you open my window. Daniel. It sure is. How far can we see from here? We could see the Henry Mountains right there. How far is there? Oh, 100 miles, who knows. See the Green River? Right there. Down there in that valley. Sit down, Richard. Let me see what. What it looks like if you're... Yeah, don't throw rocks. Oh, that's what I want. We'll all sit on that. I'll sit on that. Um... What do you think, Mom? Oh, I think it's beautiful. I just wonder what the Grand Canyon looks like, if, this, if that's what this looks like. Is this different from the Grand Canyon? I've never been there. Should we walk further out?
Okay, what's this? This is our treasure, number 54. What's that noise I hear? A rooster. A rooster. This is number 54, our trailer at the Apache Moab. Moab Apache. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Up at the crack of dawn. Go in the house. I'll follow you. And what's this? This the living is room. the living room. Right here, you play baseball cards on that coffee table? Yeah. And what's this? The kitchen. kitchen. Kitchenette. Kitchen. Big kitchen. Eat-in kitchen. Not a kitchenette. Here's the cooking part. There's some of our food. And then there's this way. Yeah, way there, down here. There's mom. That was mom, yeah. I think everybody recognized her. Here's your room and Daniel's packing. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Here's your room. And here's the here's laundry the room. Bathroom. Here's the bathroom. Here's the enormous tub. Here's the tub. Here's the shower. Here's the sink. Here's yep. the toilet. And here's the door. Yep. And here's mom and dad's room. Isn't it nice? And the beautiful yard. There's such a beautiful yard out here. I'll take a shot of it. Yeah, such a beautiful one. It has all these, all this litter. It has old fireworks from the 4th of July. It a has big old red bottles. Stick. And it has a shack. And that's all for this shot. That's Aaron with the big red stick. It is Saturday, um, August 11th. We drive to Monument Valley today in that car. What's that say? We're able to accommodate only a few small rooms. Very few are large enough to house a dwelling the size of Cliff Palace, which contains 217 rooms, 23 kivas, and had a population of 200 to 250 people. I always found it interesting that the rooms all seem to touch each other. And where were the streets? Yeah. Well, there's a pathway there. Everybody's yes, very is. close. What it looked like before it became a ruins. Are these ruins? Yeah. But did they build up? Did they? First, they were first. Actually, what I'm just reading here is interesting. They moved up onto the mesa. This is the Anasazi, somewhere around the year 500, although they used the cliff alcoves consistently throughout that time. They were near, they did not build the cliff dwelling until A.D. 1200. So they weren't in use for very long, these cliff dwellings. Yeah, you know.